Thank you so much. Uh, at the outset, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all the uh, speakers, uh, Dr. K. S. and all other speakers uh, who join from different places uh, in this webinar, and uh, also uh, Dr. Bhart and all others, including Dr. Manish Mial, for organizing this event under the severe view of Corona pandemic. And I think this is the only way to connect with the people. Because physically, now it's not possible. I don't know how long it will take when, as Dr. Bhatwal said, in person conferences or seminars will take place. So the future is online and you have encashed the future very well, very well. And uh, the plethora of invited talks, special talks and presentations, they show that you have really worked hard for this. So I congratulate the whole team for this, for organizing this. But taking a hint or leaf from Dr. Bhatwal's feedback, I feel that students should be given more time because it is their time. And therefore, if you can just reduce the number of participants, that will help. It's not necessary for you to invite 100 people because you are not running a race. There is no need to run a race. So don't invite so many people. You can bifurcate that conference or that seminar into two. Because it is also necessary to hear what the students have to say. And they need to be given time because they are our future. And the future decides what to do. Yes. Okay. Yes. As I said that uh, I lost my connection. And this is also one of the disadvantages of being very smart or getting connected through internet. Internet, it can sometimes be, it is always a boon, but sometimes it becomes a curse when in between you are out of a meeting or a conference or a seminar. So uh, my uh, only suggestion is that please, as Dr. Bhartwal said, please bifurcate the uh, event. You can, uh, you can easily organize two seminars and give students much time. And the other thing which I would like to request everyone, because we are dealing with COVID pandemic, and then we, we also have to think about the national education policy. Actually, tomorrow we have a meeting with Honorable Education Minister on some these parameters like uh, implementation strategies of NEP. And that is social science with STEM. -M. So we have to we have to devise ways and means to integrate these subjects together. And on the other hand, we also need to devise ways and means to make science more beneficial for humankind. Because we, we do science, we publish lots of papers. And most of the papers are in, in fact, uh, impact factor journals, highly rated. But only those people read those articles who have interest in that discipline. So I think now this is high time 
when we have to think about interdisciplinary research and we have to think about multidisciplinary research and also how to give benefit of science to humankind like now the covid vaccination is the only saving grace if our population is quickly vaccinated then i think we'll be able to defeat corona virus so this is also the research which is being used for the safety and well being of the human kind throughout the world so now this is the time to join hands with the researchers which are human centric because why we do research as i said that we we have published enough in impact factor journals we have enough score but now it is time that we must devote some time for the researches which are beneficial for mankind for human kind because uh, now presently it's a question of the survival of human race if the human race is not there then what are we doing for what we are doing and what is the aim of our research i may be sounding a little bit out of place but i am a social scientist and i think deeply on these issues and i always appreciate that part of research which which is applicable to the human life like dr barthar also said that they are uh, uh, they are doing uh, this uh, Uh, they they have four centers in different places of india and through those centers they are trying to do what is required so i think this is the time when all the scientists they should join hand and work for the betterment of the human kind because as i said this is the biggest threat for us for everyone for everyone that how to safeguard the human life how to stay safe and healthy this is the primary question so this primary question is addressed to the science only and then when there are researches when there are innovations these innovations will go into programs it will benefit the whole human attention race so this is only 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 a kind of expectation which uh, i do not know whether i should expect from our scientist fraternity but i thought that this is the this is the call of the time and we cannot neglect it we have to have dialogue about this also and also how to make science practical because when we talk about nep it clearly says that the research should be for human welfare so now it is the high time so these are all through aerosol so last year they they, they published some papers on learning experiences because now this this has been proved that this corona virus is in the air so this the these researches they they always educate the human beings they always educate the people and they also make them realize that they have to be careful it is also the duty of science to make aware the people about the various situations which are emerging under the present global scenario not only of pandemic but otherwise also but in any case i am really very happy to see that dr manish unyal dr bhart and dr ramola and all of the people are uh, they are uh, using this time although it's not a very good time people are mentally very much disturbed and very much perturbed but just to change the atmosphere i think these webinars are a good medium at least you can connect you can you can hear to the uh, to, to the seasoned people 
to the invited people and then you can also encourage the students to become like them only. So it's a great, I think, great contribution of the Department of Physics that during this pandemic also uh, they could connect, I think, uh, too many people, too many, uh, too many researchers, too many scholars, and this credit goes to the Department of Physics. And, uh, and I think that uh, this, uh, this benefit sh should also go to the society. So whenever there is any plan to publish, kindly add this input also, which I have said, that please do research, but with a human face. Actually, we, we require these kinds of researches now more than often. So uh, research is important, but human angle should never be next, should always be there. So with these words, I would again like to thank Dr. Manish Unyal, Dr. Bhatt, Dr. Ramola, and Dr. Barthwal, and all others uh, like Dr. Gunjan Purohit. And I don't know many, many names, but uh, it's a very impressive uh, panel, actually, panel of speakers, uh, panel of uh, invited speakers and panel of experts. Uh, so I wish everyone uh, very well that they, all of them, they stay safe and healthy. My all best wishes and, uh, and my regards to everyone uh, for making this workshop, seminar, webinar very successful. And so my best wishes to everyone and please take very, very good care of yourself and don't neglect your health at any, any cost. So thank you so much for inviting me for this program.